So check this thing out. This is a race drone. And look at how small it is. Check it out. And this thing can just, it's super quick. The Fuss Spartan, F-U-S Spartan. There's a little camera right here. It's got all the uh, flight controller there, full carbon frame. You can take a, I think up to a 4S battery, which is insane. It's got these little motors and there's a lot of power behind these motors. 3,800 kV. So, and you just push on props. Uh, so it's full FPV. I've got the goggles and everything for it. The problem is though, I gotta get this little tiny receiver. Bought this off of uh, Amazon, but look at the size of this receiver, guys. Tiny, and I have to solder this thing on to the uh, flight board, flight controller. All right, guys, so this is an RC car dude trying to get his first FPV drone up and running. It's ready to run, except you just gotta put your own receiver on here. Um, I'm using a Fly Sky um, receiver and transmitter. I bought this separately off Amazon, bought this from Banggood. But I'm like brand spanking new to these things. This is the first one I've ever had. So I got the receiver in there. It's tucked up underneath the canopy here. And uh, I had to basically solder it on here. You need a really small receiver to fit underneath here. And uh, I've got the um, Flysky A8S and it just barely fits in there. And I, So I've got a 4S battery in there. Little mini 4S 450 milliamp hour um, I think it's a tattoo battery it's called and uh, we're gonna just take it for its uh, maiden flight and I'm just gonna fly it in uh, angle mode which is uh, the beginner mode then you have uh, horizon which lets you do flips and then you have acro mode so Let's take it for a little line of sight. I'm not going to do FPV, but I just want to see, make sure that it's uh, flying stable. All right, so let's go do that, guys. All right, guys. So I don't really have the best location to be uh, flying this today, but uh, it's kind of windy here. But uh, let's see what we can do here. First flight. It's windy actually for this thing, for a small quad like this, but uh, let's just see if it flies first of all. All right, she's armed. See, there's my arm switch right there. I had to set this all up in beta flight too. Like I'm brand spanking new when it comes to these things. So it's a big learning curve, but uh, Let's see how it goes. I'm just going to fly it in the easiest mode for the first uh, test. And uh, actually, that just reminds me, I got to take it. I got it in an angle mode, or sorry, acro mode. So I'll put it down. I had to set these in beta flight. So let's, uh, let's give it a little test. The wind is coming from over here. There we go. It's pretty windy for a small quad like this. Oh, she flies. Whoa, definitely different than flying a GPS drone. It's got lots more punch to it. Lots more punch. And I got it in the easiest mode right now. I'm gonna fly it into the wind. Whoa, this is only on 3S too. It does, can go up to 4S. 
Whoa, not used to this. Doesn't hold still like a uh, GPS rig. It'll just drift and the wind is pushing it. My hands are freaking shaking, guys. I'm not used to this. I don't want to crash it. I got it in, uh, like I said, I got it in angle mode, which self levels. So if I take my hands off the sticks, let me bring it back here. If I take my hands off the sticks, wanting to go the other direction there. Hang on a sec, I'll fly it into the wind. But when I take my hands off the sticks, it self rights itself, see that? Let me try one of the other modes, just see what happens. Well, it keeps coming back on me here. I'm not used to flying this thing at all. Let's see if my other modes work. Hang on, let's try angle, let's try Sorry, let's try acro. Oh yeah, see that? If I just move the stick over, it just keeps going. It's hard for you to see. Uh-oh. Let's get it back into uh, stability. <laughs> okay, get used to it a bit. My battery might be dying by now. Whoa! Whoa! Almost a crash there. And this is in angle mode. Sorry. Yeah, angle mode. Okay, I'm gonna run out of juice, I think, soon, but... Uh... Whoa! All right. Well, that's not a bad first flight. Everything seems to be working. So, I, I set it up right anyways. Let's do a little punch out here quickly. And then I'll bring it back down. Whoa. It's got lots of power on 3S compared to what I'm used to. Let's try another one. That's cool. I'm liking this. And I got it so the motors don't completely shut off. Whoa. All right, let's land it before something happens. All right, guys. See if I can set her down half decent. There we go. All right. Not bad, not bad at all. So there you go. That's the first uh, flight for me with the FUS Spartan. Sorry about the background noise. I'm right near some shops there, but uh, that's it. I'm gonna see more of this. I guess next time uh, I should try flying it in FPV. So this thing is uh, 100, no, it's 89 bucks, I think, on, uh, on Banggood. I'll put a link in the description. It's pretty good. It doesn't come with a receiver, but other than that, and the battery it's uh ready to go and you have to just set it up in beta flight i might make a few beginner videos for beta flight even though i don't know what i'm doing but i might be able to dumb it down a little bit so somebody can fumble their way through like i did <laughs> all right guys so that's it for now let me just uh disconnect the battery so i don't kill my vtx my uh video transmitter so all right guys that was a great flight, first flight, a little dicey at times, but uh, she came back in one piece. All right, take care, guys. We'll see you on the next. Bye for now.